Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to this channel. Alright, uh, can you turn to page 40 in Ilmu Bakti Workbook? I will try to explain to you example number 2. So, can you take out your NMATS 2 book and can you write the day on the dates for today? I'm very sorry because the quality of the camera is a bit shaky today. So, this is chapter number 3 which is Systems of Equations. So our learning objective for today is uh, we're going to try to solve linear equations in three variables. So before this, uh, we have only x and y variable. But now we try to solve linear equations in three variables, uh, which is involved x, y, and z variables. Alright, um, I'm just going to copy the question from page 40 now. So we're going to solve x plus 2y plus z equals to 3. 2x minus y plus 3z equals to 13 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 11 So, to solve these um, three variables, uh, we're gonna try to eliminate one of one of the variables So in this case, um, I'm just gonna copy the first equation first, which is x plus 2y plus z equals to 3 I'm gonna multiply all terms by 2 because I wanna get rid of the 2x variable so I would have 2x plus 4y plus 2z and then equals to 6. So now I label this as equation number 1. Uh, I'm copying again equation number 2 from the question which is 2x minus y plus 3z equals to 13. This is equation number 2. So I'm going to eliminate 2x from both equations. So what I will do is I will subtract equation number 1 minus equation number 2. So if you subtract 2x minus 2x will give you 0. 4y minus negative y it becomes 4y plus y which is 5y. 2z minus 3z is negative z. 6 minus 13 will be negative 7. So I'm gonna label this as equation number 3. So now I'm just gonna do again. I'm gonna rewrite equation number 2. 2x minus y plus 3z equals to 13. So this is my equation number 2. Uh, my equation number 3, again from uh, the question. I'm sorry you got confused with equation number 3 above, but this is from the question. So we will try to eliminate uh, the 2x from these two equations. We're going to subtract equation number 2 minus equation number 3. If you subtract, 2x minus 2x will give you 0. Negative y minus 3y will be negative 4y. 3z minus 4z will be negative z. And 13 minus 11 will be 2. So I label this equation number 4. Now if you look at equation number 3 above and equation number 4 down there, I'm going to get rid of the z variable. So if you subtract both equation, 5y minus negative 4y becomes plus, so it becomes 5y plus 4y. Negative z plus, sorry, negative z plus z will be 0. Negative 7 minus 2 will be negative 9. So now there is no x and z variable. We, we can find the value of y which is negative 1. So to find z, I just simply substitute into equation number 4 above. But I forgot to write the negative 1 into my y just now. So can you write negative there? So negative 1 should be there, yes. Okay, now it becomes 4 minus 2. So the z will, value will be 2. So now from there, x plus 2y plus z equals to 3. I'm going to find the x value. So to find the x value, so I'm going to bring over the 2y and z to the other side. So I would have... 3 minus 2y minus z so the y that we have found with is negative 1 simply substitute in the z is also 2 substitute in when you solve that you get x equals to 3 so now I'm just copying all the answers again so this is alright uh, can you try question number 1 so this is the solution and can you try question number 2 as well and this is the solution and also question number 3 and this is the final answer so I'll try to uh, check on Tuesday. So I shall see you on Tuesday. Goodbye.